by the commotion. Mm -hmm. Thought so that there would be a cutscene. The buzzing crowd has closed in on several harried looking individuals. Some of the faces are smeared with fresh blood. The angry cries and twisted faces leave no doubt. A massacre is about to take place. Just cut their throats already! What were they thinking, letting that ship dock at footfall? They're all stricken. No, no cutting. We get their blood on us and we'll be tainted too. Better burn them. Ah, oh, very charming. Be quiet, you scoundrel. Priest. Clad in a simple black raiment. Cut through the crowd like a void ship crossing the sky. You dare pass judgment on others? What arrogance to think you have the right. Isn't that basically what church always does? Or religion? <laughs> well, Enter starts at the sight of the elderly priest. That Reverend Hieronymus, I'm surprised he decided to intervene in street squabble. Uh, I don't know if I want to watch in silence and what's happening to them. This place is rotten. It is. Thinking about whether to cut people open or to burn them. Ugh. Let's intervene. What is going on here? What a dozen gazes bore into you. And who are you supposed to be? Now we could out ourselves. I am an envoy of the Von Valencius dynasty. You come from Lady Theodora. Rebel rouses bow his head respectfully. Pardon me, noble sir. Ah, oh, great. We were just, um, rooting out heresy here. These scrawny ones, they're from a ship that came from the bowels of the Coronas Expanse. They've got plague there, and mutants. Now they're spraying the rod everywhere, the taint. They're all... Silence. You must be completely out of your minds. Band of woefully dim-witted reprobates who think themselves bringers of justice. Who are you to pass judgment on anyone? Or you ought to be doing suffering and repenting till the end of your days. Charming. Or you'd be doing suffering. And what's so wrong about that, Reverend? You just want to put these heretics to death. We're not heretics. They got men on the verge of tears. We're refugees. I swear it on the Golden Throne. We serve the Imperium faithfully until they hang us out to dry. We were the protectors that were meant to shield the lands of humanity from nightmares. Traitors. Traitors and heretics, a lot of them. A murmur runs through the crowd. People gog at you, the priest, the wretch group, huddling in the center. How tiring. The motley sea of colors that filled this restless crowd is hard on the eyes. So many hues, but most of them are acid yellow streaks of fear. The red buds swelling, ready to burst and paint all who are gathered here. Sir looks at the crowd of troublemakers warily. They shudder at the very sight of her. Come on, a little compassion, Cassia. As for the hearts of those who have been forced to defend themselves, they are shrouded in purplish black grief. But the words are as transparent as the ice that lies at the top of a glacier. The commoners are always deaf to those who are others suffering, or such is their nature. Interfering in their affairs is hardly worthy of you or me, Edward. And interesting that at the same time she complains that commoners are deaf to other suffering, but she doesn't want us to interfere. Like, what? Aren't we doing the same then? And given that we have to do stuff, I guess. The priest wouldn't really do anything by himself. I represent the Von Valencius, master of Kiava Gamma, and thus have the right to decide what to do with these people. I command the onlookers to disperse. As for the rest of you, go to the deck Alpha Row and await further instructions. Hey, coercion succeeded. Rebel Rouser looks at you morosely. I don't want to get in trouble over this lot. The refugees use the interruption to make off in the direction of the dock of Rome. Nice, peacefully solved. 
Uh, 20 bucks, the priest is going to complain. The arrogance and self-righteousness of a male factor. The priest shakes his head disapprovingly, then his eyes shift to you. But so basically, you judge people by saying no one can judge anyone. So you, just you can judge people. Is that Drosian in a nutshell? I am Reverend Hieronymus Doloroso, head of the Drosian mission here in Footfall. But thank you for stopping in. Please, see me when you have the time. I can talk then. Okay, he disapproves, but he thanks us. Okay. They take it, I guess. A walking contradiction. Duty prevails. In this mishmash of devices and cables, you notice equipment from totally different eras. Some ancient, some merely old, and others easily tossed together in more recent years. Hmm, shall we go and talk to him? Yeah, come on. Ooh. Loot. The man, with a face so drawn it appears to be made of nothing but skin and bone, fixes his unblinking, bird-like eyes on you. Priests, simple black clothes, next to no adornments, they do nothing to mask his unhealthy gauntness. In a quick voice, he says, Ah, oh, correct. Oh well, let's stick to my voice. The Emperor protects. So, who are you? I am Reverend Hieronymus, Hieronymus Doloroso, as I'm called, head of the Drusian mission and possibly the last hope for the wayward souls that inhabit this fringe forsaken by our master. The Emperor protects never hurts, right? Um, the Emperor protects, Reverend. But he protects only those who are pure of heart. Do you think yourself one of them? Be leery of this conviction of yours. Many have risen to the pinnacle of faith, have fallen from it into the embrace of pride most degenerate. You must be the young von Valencius. Name carries weight. It is a burdensome one, for the reputation suggests that Theodora encumbered it with many a transgression. I wonder, will you seek to shed them, or will you carry them onwards, picking them along the way like ripe fruit and savouring their sweet poison? For a guy telling not to judge people, he's judgment personified. Heard many exalt deeds of your intellect and call your wisdom a gift from the Emperor himself. Fools. They think, do they not know that the seeds of heresy sprout quickest in an enlightened mind? Understanding only arose the will to act. Ah, one of those people. Just believe, not understand. Just believe. You're saying Theodora was a transgressor. A woman of great gifts, but few considered virtue to be one of them. People whispered that power had corrupted her, made her believe that she was entitled to anything she wanted. It was known that she showed cordiality to Xenos, broke taboos, and violated dogmas. Then again, so do nearly all rogue traders. And I mean, technically, the Emperor allows us to do that. You know, rogue traders are the Emperor's anointed. I act at his command, as evidenced by signature on my warrant. And did he grant it to you personally? And the Emperor has entrusted his servants with the future of humanity. People are too weak, too flawed, to prove themselves worthy of its trust. Only suffering can cleanse us, but we fear it, and thus remain sullied. Hmm. How fun. The nice god who wants you just to suffer to be worthy. Hmm. Oh well. Am I starting to heretical? I guess so. How do you know who I am? The Emperor has blessed me with acute hearing. The people did the rest. Many members of your crew, do you think, came to confess the moment they arrived in port? 
How long do you suppose it took me to piece together the truth from their words? Hmm. Awareness succeeded. The priest's voice is rasping and harsh. I just managed to pick up a strange change in tone. There's something hidden behind the shift in speech. Something that he did not consider necessary to explain. I mean, we want him to dispatch Argenta, so let's try to make the sign of the Holy Aquilia. Unfortunately, the Emperor wants none of this. He never wanted to be worshipped as a god. Really? Insane. But I mean, cults and churches and stuff in Warhammer. Okay, we want to be on his good side, so... Edward, make the sign of the Holy Aquilia. I put my faith in the Emperor. It seemed to have worked. With a chance of 100%. It gives you a scrutinizing look, and his tone softens. Well, then I will be twice as diligent. The sector will seize any chance to test your faith. Looks at Argenta, who's standing nearby, and his voice softens slightly. Greetings, sister. I congratulate you on your return. Was your pilgrimage fruitful? It was. Reverend, let it be known to you that Theodora von Valencia's ship was attacked by the servants of an arch enemy who appeal the heart of any righteous soul. She says, nearly hissing with fury. And not all of them met a fitting end. Some fled, and more than that, the blasphemous words clearly pointed to this attack being part of a larger design. Reverend Hieronymus, I wish to join the esteemed rogue trader's crew and help protect the Von Valencia's dynasty from the forces of the arch enemy. I'm divesting myself of the responsibility of guarding the footfall reliquary. Nice. Despite our iconoclastic behavior. Beliefs in the imperial truth, which is in technology, cultural and economic advancement, and the complete abolishing of all religions. The Emperor. <laughs> what irony that <laughs> there's a huge church about him. Great. But I mean, the church must have started while he was still alive, right? Or not? Ah, oh, come on. Let's be nice. Sister Argenta stood by my side during the assault on the ship, and I could s use her assistance going forward. Romnos, not in thought. Follow the call of your soul, sister. The footfall reliquary will be preserved even without your contribution, as it was in all these years preceding your arrival. Very nice. Hieronymus smiles sadly. I know what it is that calls you to follow the rogue trader, Sister Agenta. You see, combat is what helps you to forget how hollow and worthless our lives truly are. It offers the illusion of meaning. Perhaps you will relinquish this illusion one day, or perhaps you will die before the day comes. Regardless, I wish you luck on your new path. What a happy dude. But before you start on a path toward your new destiny, I have to make a request. You and your companion. Many among my flock are from the poorest, most dispossessed people on footfall. They brought me troubling news from the footfall shadow quarters. In the darkest corners, the legion's wardens do not venture. Taint is taking root. Find a yes, but it was seen as a fun curiosity and useful idiots at the church at the beginning. <laughs> it really starts to bloom during the Horus heresy. Ah, uh, okay. Oh boy. Footfall is consumed by profanity. But even here, true heresy serving the arch enemy is a rarity. Cultists who now dwell in the shadow quarters make their bows with a sun inscribed in blue and gold, perform strange rituals in a secret location. The weak find solace in believing these reports to be rumors, but I well know that evil lurks all around us, and I wish to see retribution. Well, I gotta say, I come across heresy surprisingly often these days. Indeed. Dark times are upon us, 
and wretched souls grow ever more eager to embrace heresy, both on footfall and elsewhere, and foul buds are coming into bloom. Troubling news is arriving from many planets. There are whispers of wicked things taking place on Kiava Gamma. It was recently a transport ship by the name of Navishia, teeming with refugees, arrived on footfall from Winterscale's realm. And their world was stricken with blasphemous sedition. sedition. And such was its severity that they had to flee to save themselves. Well, the leech refused to accept them, and so they headed for the foul stone, it is like cloister of the righteous. It was wise of them to not linger in this den of vileness. Okay, everything is horrible. Thanks for clearing that up. Alright, we will verify this rumor, Reverend Hieronymus. With great pleasure. Genta puts her hand on the stock of her weapon. I almost wish for the rumor to be true. My heart yearns to battle some heretics. This is where I bid you goodbye, sister. And will Edward, is there more you wish to ask of me? So, is it true that the pirate Dens Bellardo was your parishioner and that he endowed the Drugians with donations? It is. For the cause of his life, that reprobate had burdened his soul with many vile and egregious acts. Egregious acts. His confessions were akin to a grand catechism, listening humankind's imminent vices and enormities. It was all the more painful for him to realize and of all the heinous acts he committed, not one had been forgotten by the Emperor. Dens Bellano was afraid of death, and that which would await him after. He hoped to atone for his misdeeds, he yearned to convince, not the Emperor, than himself at least, that he'd been more a conscious speck of malignant and mold his entire life. That's why Repentance, at the beginning it was hopeful, and at the very end, was scared. You know, everyone deserves a chance of redemption. And it is true for miscreants above all others. The greater the transgression, the more miraculous and wondrous the Repentance. You know, I think I will regret this, but tell me about yourself. Neither my past nor my present hold any secrets. I take heed when gazing into my heart, or many dark thoughts lock within. Should a personal faith say that? So, what is troubling your heart? Bad omens. Dark times have come. Ships from the Imperium barely appear in the Coronis Expanse anymore. Put forth shadow quarters, taint fries, the people here are corrupt enough to succumb to it gladly. Rumors around the Expanse say that the cursed Xenos grown bold and are rearing their heads. They attack ships and settlements, look under the sons of the Imperium worlds like kings instead of cowering the shadows. What's next? What adversities await us if such disgrace is happening already? He shakes his head sternly. The more and more talk of how poorly things are going in the Expanse. Someday it seems I can't take two steps without hearing some peasant pontification on the matter. Ha! Huh. Even if it is as dire as they say, the Von Valencia realm will not crumble under the blows of fate, no matter how devastating. Turn up, Lord Captain. There's no time to lose heart and lament your lot. Not only is hope, not only is your hope false, it's also dangerous. Among his servants. F and people of great integrity who sully themselves with their attempts to rise above the rest. So, don't hope, just despair? So, who were you in the past? Wretched fiend. Blinded by my ambitions, I served in my home planet's Adeptus Administratum Division. I was a shrewd and sly bureaucrat, a sword to great heights, the very chair of Prefect. Thirty years, I turned my home from a withered French colony into prosperous worlds. Our wealth grew as we bloomed. 
The bloom was a veneer for rot. Opulence had depraved us, and luxury had seduced us with its sordid promises. Lenners' denizens no longer wished to pray or work. They only sought entertainment and dangerous philosophies. A thousand vile heresies and a million appalling vices bred on my world like molds on a nutriment. In those days, I saw with my own eyes the shameless ugliness of the soul. I repented of my hub hubris, left the position of prefect, and became a traveling missionary. I've been one ever since. For my world, twenty years later, the Holy Inquisition consigned it to purifying flames. Ah, come on, let's be heretical and say what Edward was thinking. Ah, so, now that you're sated with baseness, you think you can lecture people? He nods calmly. You are quite right. I'm a wicked, irredeemable scoundrel. Shall we embrace, brother? I want to know more about the Drusians. Uh, at least a little bit. Tell me more about the Drusians. A sanctionized imperial cult which honors St. Drusus, scourge of the Bale Childer, bane of Xenos. Just as he once fearlessly ventured into the Calyxus sector and spared it its conquest, so do we travel untamed. So do we travel to untamed reaches and expand the Imperium's borders. We are pilgrims and scouts who descend into the darkness, lawless sectors, and our eyes are injured to vice and filth. Just as St. Drus has found his martyr's death and was reborn in faith, so do we search for the purifying power of trials and suffering. Oh gosh. In the folds of his black robe, he produces a thin pamphlet. Read this. I think the basics of our dogma. Perhaps you too will send the truth in St. Drus's words. Okay. The Emperor protects. Okay. Mm, before looking at the Shadow Quarters, I think we should go to the Legion's Palace. Because the better got trade Xeno artifacts on footfall and fairly blatantly in that. And the Ordo Xenos is in no hurry to rectify the situation. Which is kinda of odd, right? It's just tolerated. Okay, onward.